Customizing your Twitch channel page will help you re help you out with your branding, and this will make sure your viewers will see that you are pretty serious with what you're doing, and this will eventually lead to that you get a better image as a content creator. That is why I'm in today's video we're going to be going through every single setting that Twitch provides us to customize your own channel page. So if you find this video helpful, then please be sure to leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel if, with the bell on if you want to see more content just like this one. With that said, let's get straight into the tutorial. So with channel customization, I mean such as end screen that you can see here or offline screen, colors on the follow and maybe an eventual subscribe button. Also if you go to my profile, a banner uh, and such. So that is all the things that I'm going to go through today. So to get to the settings page where you can change all the things, you can either go to this adjust channel or whatever it says here. Or, um, or you can just click on your profile picture, go to settings and channel and videos, this tab. And then you should come to this page where you can see your, you can get your stream key, blah, blah, blah over here. But that is not what we, we're going to be focusing on right now. We're going to focus on the channel customization. So if we scroll down a bit, we already see here you can change your profile picture. And actually the colors on your profile picture uh, has to you have to be very careful with these because yeah I, because as, such as profile your profile banner or your uh, accent colors should be pretty alike to your uh, colors or at least one color on your profile picture so here you can update your profile picture or we'll remove and update another one um so you just click an update and you can select one or yeah your profile picture is done here you got your profile banner. Uh, either you can have a basically a color as your banner, or you can have a picture. And to to, uh, to upload a picture, you just select upload here, and so select a picture from your computer, uh, and it will be uploaded. And you hit save. So then you have your profile banner. Remember that your profile banner has to be uh, pr the, at least one color from your profile banner has to be a uh, bit alike to. The, your profile picture so in my case we got the here you can see in the um, the like gray black background as you can which is pretty which is like the same with my profile picture we got a gray on the wolf and then some black around the text uh, which is a, which has star X the gamings um, so now we got the profile picture and it, the profile banner then we're gonna go over here and here you can change your name um, I mean you don't do that unless you really want to but here we got a biography and here you can change I here you can type in whatever um you I suggest that I have very short short text it's a 40 year old that loves gaming and streaming but you can uh, type in stuff like what you love to do, what games you love to play, or something like that, but um, maybe not in the biography. Do this in um, a panel, which I'll show you guys later. Uh, so basically, say, click, if you um, type something, save, change, save changes, and it will be saved. Here, as it, if you don't know what an accent color is, it's basically a col color that represents your channel. And one example for a, what ac accent colors do is uh, if you have your mouse on, if you're on desktop, if you have a mouse on a, st on a stream, here you can see different colors, which obviously are the accent colors. Here we see green, or no, sorry, we see yellow. Here we have blue. Here we have um, the, uh, the default one. Default one, you, you see you can green, you can change which, which one, which one you want. And you just do this by just, you know, you can uh, either take a default color, you type in a tag for a color, or you can just, you know, try around a bit. So maybe I want it like this. This is actually really cool. You have a, a custom color. So I, I actually really like this. And you, maybe I want it like this, uh, like this. And you hit save like that. Then you have the accent color. Also, guys, I, remember, I forgot to say, if, some, if someone, for example, raids you or subscribes to you, something like, something like that, then it will be this color um, next to the, the text, obviously. So here we got my offline screen, um, the offline screen, and you just hit upla update if you have a picture. If you don't have a picture already, then uh, you can maybe take a uh, non copyrighted picture on Google or something. Hit update, select the picture on your, on your PC and it, you will have a offline screen and channel trailer this is only available for uh, twitch affiliates or twitch partners and how you do this i'm in a video a tutorial on how to how to get a channel trailer or how to add one before 
but I'll show you guys again. Click on choose the video. Go and you can either sh choose one uh, like this, or you can go to Video Studio, upload a video, and which is always which should be your channel trailer, and then do like this to hit the free free dots. Add this channel trailer. If, uh, fix all these settings and all the tile and everything and click on add as channel trailer then you have a your very own channel trailer now the channel trailer should contain stuff like uh, what they should what your viewers should expect from your channel um, who you are some basically some stuff about you so there are all the visual customization settings that I was going to show you today um, but there are a few other settings that I'm going to show you later on but I wanted to point out one important thing, as I said before in the video, but it's very important that all your or colors on your visual customization settings should be um, pretty alike. As I said, if you have a red as your channel color, then you want to have red on your on your offline screen, on your accent color, on your ban a little bit on your banner, a little bit on your profile picture. Um, or, or here in, in my case, my profile picture has some gray in it, so my profile banner uh, has some gray in the background. So just so the colors fit, that, that's what I was trying to say here. When on your channel biography, you can add a link to a website or a social media that you have. For example, I have my YouTube channel here. So if we look here at my biography here, for you who love stream gaming and streaming, and then you can see YouTube here that you can just click on it and then come to my YouTube channel and subscribe to it or whatever, watch my videos. So um, you, I suggest that you, if you have multi multiple um, social medias, then make sure that that you add them right here, or if you have a um, if you have a website or something, you just type in whatever. Let's say Instagram. And then they type in the text and add. So um, that's how we do it. And here is one really cool thing actually. The stream, you can have a stream schedule. You can, if you add a stream here, you can uh, basically type in what time you will be live. So your viewers or, or what time you will be live on the week. So your viewers know when to go live. So let's say I stream Monday, Tuesday, uh, Mo Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at 12 p.m. Or for two, three hours, uh, or four to five minutes, yeah, like that. And then category, I don't know, just chatting. Uh, the stream title. Here we can, here you can tell you, t you tell your viewers before the video, the, before the stream even starts, what the stream should will be about. So let's say just chatting with you guys, like that. And then you hit save. You can also have, if you're, uh, for example, going on, a or on a vacation or you can't stream for some reason, you can have a vacation mode. And here you can select which day, from from which day you'll be gone until the last day you're gone or on the day you'll be back. So let's say you're away from the 1st of July to 26th of August. You hit save. And if we, when, well, I'm going to show you where you can see your, uh, your basically your stream schedule. Hit save. And go over to my channel here, go like this, and go here. There will be a tab set that says schedule. And look here, here is my scheduled stream, just chatting with you guys. That it should be on Sunday, 12 p.m. to 3:45. So this is actually really cool. Okay, so now I've gone through a lot and a lot of customization settings. And um, guys, before uh, before if you don't hate me for this, but some of these things are only for affiliates and partners. That's just some benefits with being uh, an affiliate or partner on Twitch. So, but if you are not an affiliate yet, then you can make it right. I believe in you. Anyways, there is one last thing here, and that is to add channel panels like I have down here. Um, this is just a test one, but anyways, look here. I have a channel panel for subscribe and about. That is why I haven't wrote so much here. Um, and donate credit stuff like that. Um, so how you add a channel pa banner again, uh, you just hit edit panels, go to the plus button down here and click here. Now, as I said before, you want to think about what colors you use so they fit to your channel colors. Um, but I'm gonna I'm now going to show you how to make a uh, banner or a panel picture. Uh, it's actually really easy. I'm gonna make a full tutorial, a very detailed one on how you can customize your very own your very own channel ban uh, panel for your Twitch channel. Uh, but I'm gonna go through it very fast here. 
So we go to a website called Nerd or Die Resources, and then click on the Twitch Panel Maker. From here, you can. I mean, there are a lot of settings you can change. You can change that text as well. So let's say you want. I don't know. Boom. Ofag. I don't know. Change colors, effects, positioning. And once you feel like all the settings are great, you want to use this, you right click the picture and save the picture as. Then you go over here and add the picture to the panel. Um, here we go. Boom. Open. You can customize it like this. Crop it. And then it's done. You can uh, link. The picture can link or the panel picture can link to a website. So let's say I wanted to link to youtube.com. And we the panel unless if you don't have the t a text on your ch panel picture, then add it, add basically the text that should say on the the panel basically. So let's say I want to search donate. I don't know. And the description if you want to have a description for it, we send that and go here. This is how it will look like. If you click here, it goes. I, I messed up it all. I messed it up. Uh, but anyways, this will basically link to your website. All right, guys. Uh, this video will, is probably going to be very long, but I hope I hope you learned something at least. I uh, maybe was a bit unclear, but if you have any questions, then please be sure to leave them in the comment section down below, and I'll try to answer you or help you out. Um, please make sure, as I said, me. As I said, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos just like this one on the channel. Uh, with that said, see you next video. Starix uh, out.